think of the main event? The, okay the overall event, or? No, it was with the, with the headliners. Yeah, I mean, I think Frank did some serious damage on um, on uh, Roy's leg, and kind of threw him off. I think I think Roy turned it on at the very end there, but um, according to the judges, it was a little bit too late. Yeah. <clears throat> but <clears throat> Frank fought a very smart fight, in, in my opinion. With what you said um, Wednesday in New York about you know time is probably ticking down for both of those guys, at least in this organization. I mean. It's is that the end of it for Roy at this point? You know, I think that I'll go back and talk to my team about that. You know, I think I think Roy brought it and, and did his best today. Um, it didn't work out, but um, you know, we'll do we'll, we'll evaluate that. I think that you know, it's it's you know, it, it might be that time. You know, I'm not sure, but that's something that only he can decide. But uh, as far as you know, you know what I said on uh, Wednesday, uh, it's it's definitely a possibility. He feels like he's maybe particularly cursed when he fights out here at Mohegan. I mean, he doesn't seem to have the best of luck here. I mean, yeah, you know would what? Would you keep him around and throw him on something on the West Coast ever? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Like I said, I'll, I'll go back and sit down with uh, our guys and, and uh, you know, have a conversation with them and see and see where we go from there. Scott, speaking heavyweights, I want to get Steve Mallory a fresh performance. I know he's been begging for a top 10 guy. You have Tyro Fortune begging for a top 10 guy. When? You would and then Rick start talking about okay, maybe Mir versus Mount or Tyrell versus Caritano or something. When you start telling these young guys, all right, now it's time to throw you the deep water. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, those guys, you know, have very, you know, have very. Uh, I, I don't think they even have ten fights yet, right? I mean, Fortune probably. How many for, fights does Fortune have? Maybe five, six. I'm, I'm not even sure. But um, you know, it's when the time is right, we'll do it. You know, and. I don't want to throw him in the deep water too early because you know we we have a lot um, of hope and and and, uh, and you know feel that these guys are going to be the future of this company. So let them simmer a little bit more, but they'll they'll be a shot and uh, they will have that opportunity. But you know to me it's like ten's like ten's like the right number. You know get them ten fights, twelve fights, then let them go fight anybody they want to fight. After his co-main event victory, Phil Davis on uh, the microphone mentioned. Is that something that you have ever entertained or will entertain? Yeah, you know what? Phil looked amazing tight. You know, the kid he fought is tough and a, a, just really a, a banger. And and uh, Phil, I thought, did it extremely well and, and handled himself, you know, like like a true veteran. And um, as far as the next weight class, I mean, there's I think there's two or three different divisions that we can throw the weight class, uh, throw a nice eight men or eight female or even a female tournament. So I think that you know we'll evaluate as this featherweight tournament is going on, but um, it might be a, a female tournament at the end of the year. So are you sitting here you saw with Dave Batista? Did you try to twist his arm and, and have him come back to MMA? No, no, he's he's doing extremely well, and uh, he's been a good friend for a long time, and and I'm proud of his success, and he's just been killing it out there. But um, as far as fighting, I mean, you know, he's done it, and he's trained, and he loves to train. The guy's always in great shape, and he loves martial arts, and. And I think that's that's fantastic. So as far as him fighting, no, I, I don't think he's going to be fighting anytime soon. You were angling for a role in Stuber too, if they make it. Was, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. It's, you know what? Uh, he came here uh, to support the fights, support Jake, and and uh, you know it's a pleasure to have him here. And he's uh, I saw him a couple years ago, two three years ago, and he's just blown up, you know, since 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 then, and you know he's had great success, and uh, he's a guy that. Trains in martial arts, loves martial arts, has done it for a long time, and, and that's what I love about him. Speaking of heavyweights, uh, or excuse me, speaking of Jake Hager, uh, obviously his fight had uh, some controversy there. His team was unintentional. What was your take of, of, of that whole sequence and the way that that played out? Yeah, I mean, these things happen, right? And, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to speculate one way or the other, but, you know, I, I think that we'll try to get uh, him back in the cage as soon as possible. I know he has. A very busy schedule with wrestling, and uh, we're supportive of that. And when he's ready to come back and fight in the cage, we'll have him, uh, you know, back when he's ready. Scott, one of the big controversies or uh, debates and topics today was the decision in the Ed Rude uh, Jason Jackson fight. I know you don't like to score a lot, but how did you score it? Yeah, you know what? I didn't. I didn't score it. Sit down and score the fight. But you know what? I think that Ed squeaked out, you know, a victory and. Uh, 
If it would have went the other way, I wouldn't have been surprised either. Honestly, just to be honest, I mean, you know, Ed, I love Ed, and you know, he's, you know, Bob's my guy. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, to me, I, I thought that when he dropped Ed, I thought he hurt Ed, and 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 Ed is just, you know, he's a great talent, and um, I I felt like you don't know when he's hurt, you don't know when he's not hurt. You know, he's just one of those guys that just has this a very you know blank look on his face, and he keeps moving forward. And I think that him moving forward made the judges feel like, you know, that uh, he should have won the fight. But that other kid is super talented, and uh, he'll, we'll definitely have them both back. Is that a rematch we can see again soon? I, I wouldn't mind. I don't, I don't know if Ed wants that rematch anytime soon, but he might. I mean, he's a, guy, he's a warrior. He has never said no to, to anything that we've asked him to do. So, you know, we'll see. Well, back in the light, heavyweight position. Ryan Bader has not defended the belt a long time. He went against Chet Congo, obviously didn't end how anybody wanted to end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I talked to him the other day, and uh, he would like to fight at light heavyweight, and that's going to be his next fight. And we'll have an announcement soon because we're going to have him fight sometime in February. Thanks, guys. Yes. Last question: Just at what point do you maybe strip guys of titles? I mean, you have Pitbull who has two titles, you have Bader has two titles. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys have talked to at light heavyweight and lightweight are frustrated because they're like, all right, we're, when is it going to be the title defense? Is there a point where you maybe take one of these titles off guys so they can free up positions? You know, I think that you know we can. Like the fight that we announced today with Benson and, and Chandler, right? We'll keep, we'll keep those guys busy. And, you know, they'll fight, you know, parallel to, you know, when uh, Pitbull's fighting. And we'll, we'll, ha we'll have time. We'll squeak a fight in there for him. But, um, you know, we're going to give these guys every opportunity. I mean, Pitbull's situation didn't work out exactly like I, I was hoping because he took a lot of damage in the last fight against Juan. Um, so he couldn't fight right away. But my hope was to squeak a fight in between there and March. Didn't work out because of the injury, but uh, or just because he was so banged up. But um, you know, Bader, let me tell you, he's itching to fight. You know, he wants to fight in Japan. He wants to fight. You know, in February, he wants to fight, and he's he's ready to go. So uh, I think we could th give these guys the opportunity, and then you know, if it becomes like you said, way too bottled up, they'll make a decision at that point. But I think for right now, we're still okay. Thank you.